All right, welcome back to HVU, episode number two in the new studio. That's right. Yep. So last episode we went over scenes. Uh, now we're going to get into scheduling. So um, again, I think everybody's going to find that the entire platform, um, from start to finish, and all the programming is 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 very self-explanatory, very easy. Once you go through it very easy to understand. Very user friendly. Yep. So, okay. So we set up scenes already. So let's go to the events tab to create our schedule. All right. So we are going to uh, click on add event and our first event is just going to be our classic white on white. Okay. So uh, we're just going to name this. We can name it on white. How about that? All right. Okay. Now you can go through from top to bottom. We've named the event. Okay. Lights and zones. It's already preset to 2700, but I can select that menu bar to the right to choose whatever shade of white I want. We're gonna keep it on 2700, okay? Brightness control, you can do the same. I like mine bright, all right, okay? Time of year, all right, you hit that. Now, you, can, you have a couple different options here. If you want your lights to come on at a specific time, you can set that, or you can set sunset, right? So sure. we're grabbing your GPS location, uh, for the transformer, and we're adjusting accordingly for the sunset and sunrise times. And time case. changes. And time changes long. as well. Yep. Yep. Okay. So in this case, I like my lights to come on 30 minutes prior to it actually getting completely dark. So I'm going to change that. So something new in this app, you can actually get down to the minute. Mm -hmm. So you can schedule by the minute instead of the 15 minute increments sure. that we had before. Yep. So now you can set, you know, if you want to say minus 28 minutes or whatever, you, you can, can do, do that. that as well. Yep. So we hit back, okay. Now, uh, we want these lights, because this is gonna be kind of similar to our previous app to where it's gonna be your kind of, your, your standard event, your everyday event. Um, we're gonna keep this as all year, okay. But just to show you, we have an option here for all year, specific date or holidays, which we'll get into here in just a second, okay. All right, so we want this, our lights come on white for the entire year, and the same with every day of the week as well, okay. Now at the very bottom of the screen, we have an opportunity here to select our zones. So we're going to choose all zones. We want the entire system to come on white, 30 minutes prior to sunset. Okay, we've got all that set up, very easy. Hit save. Our first event has popped up on the screen. Yep, now you'll notice it's got the green check mark on it. And then that is also new with this app. So the green check mark, there's a green check mark and a red no sign. Mm -hmm. Uh, the green check mark means that event will run today. Okay. The no sign means that it will not run today. So uh, I had a customer uh, that was that was using this app that was confused a little bit on mm -hmm. what that was for and mm -hmm. thought it was airing out or something. Which sure. The no just means it's not going to run today. So it's actually very handy. Make sure you have your schedules set up correctly. Yep. Uh, and and what's going to run today, you can very quickly see what will run today and what yep. won't yep. run today. Yep. No, that's exactly right. I want to point out something else too. So if you notice right above the event, it's giving you okay. We have our sunset minus thirty setting. It's also telling you exactly what time sunset's going to be today. That's kind of cool. So that's sunset minus thirty. Yep. For today. Eight thirty one yeah. p.m. So sunset would actually be nine oh one. That's the eight thirty one is going to be the time of the event. Man, you added that pretty quickly. Quick. Yep. All right. Good deal. Okay. Let's set up an on or our off event. We have our on. Let's go off. So we click on add event. We're going to select off zones. So we're just going to name this event off. Okay, and we're gonna go through kind of the same steps here. Uh, in this case, you may want your lights to go off at midnight. I usually keep mine on all the way till sunrise. I usually leave it sunrise even. Again, you have those options to, uh, to select that. All year, all week, we're gonna do all zones, just like that, very easy. Hit save, there you go. Now, something that we get a lot of questions about and, and when people are setting up schedules is they'll set up a schedule for their white events, for their Christmas events, for their Fourth of July events, and then sometimes they'll set up the off events for all of those. Mm. You don't, don't have, have to, to do, do that. that. The off event will happen every day, all year, because we set it to do that, no matter what the lights are doing. So even if there's no on event that day, if you manually turn the lights on, that off event will still fire yes. and turn the lights off at whatever time they're supposed to turn off. There you go. We mentioned last episode that we were gonna be able to schedule scenes. So prior to us being able to schedule scenes on the new app, if you wanted to set up a 4th of July event, you were having to schedule your, your red lights on, your white lights on, 
your blue lights on in yeah. three separate events. Correct. This is so much easier. Way easier. Yep. So we're going to do it the same way we did the previous two. We're going to add an event. Here we're going to select scenes. Okay. So we're going to we're going to call this our Fourth um, of July. So same way, but in this scene, in this opportunity, it's giving you a chance to select the scene. Okay. So we're going to choose fourth. All right. Now we're going to do this times as well. Now it's important here, and we'll point out here in a second why. But it's important to have the the times the exact same as your as your standard white. Correct. Okay. So which we did sunset minus thirty. And notice you can type it in, or you can hit the up and down arrows as well. Yeah. Okay. Hit back. Now, where it says all year, we're going to select this again, and here's where we have our, our calendar and our holiday options, okay? So you could, yes, do a specific date. We're going to do a holiday, okay? So 4th of July, it's never on the same day. It's always just on the same date, right? So we're just going to choose, we're going to choose Independence. Yeah. <laughs> It's a little confusing. A little confusing. Never mind. He meant. <laughs> Never mind. Never on the same day Cut of the week. that out. <laughs> All, right. All right. Yeah, so we're going to choose the holiday option for, for simplicity, okay? And, and you can choose if you want your lights maybe from July 1st through the 5th or whatever. You can do, you have an offset option in days, okay? Correct. I'm just going to have it red, white, and blue on 4th of July itself. So I'm going to have start. Independence Day, zero, and Independence Day, zero. Okay, hit the back arrow. It's that easy. Save. There it is. So now you'll notice that in when we created the event, it put it as a shared priority with the white. And mm -hmm. what that means is, during those the times that the 4th of July event is supposed to run, both of those events are going to conflict with each other. Mm. They're both going to try to run, mm -hmm. and it's really, it's really a game of, of chicken on <laughs> which one actually runs. So yep. what we want to actually do is split that priority up and make the 4th of July a higher priority than the, than the on white. We'll get into more detail of this in the mm -hmm. next video, but for this, we'll, we'll just, Rob will just split that out by hitting the menu button and then say split priority. And now the 4th of July is a higher priority than the white. And on the 4th of July, the 4th of July event will run and the white event will not. So you think so, about it from top to bottom as a, your order of importance. Yep. And that's why Rob said, make sure you put the same time because if you put the same time, you've got this priority structure that you can use and it makes it very easy to make, to make the app run the right event at the right time. And honestly, much more user friendly than the old app was Definitely. In, this, in this scenario. Yep, no doubt about it. So let's go ahead and add another scene here, just to kind of get into more detail. So we're gonna collect, we're gonna add another event, add another scene, and we're gonna call this one Christmas as well, okay? All right, we're gonna select Christmas scene. Do our time. Do now, day. let's do a date. Yep, so let's just do, what do you say, the entire month of December sure. maybe? Okay. So that's the other thing, let's do this. Make it make it January 2nd. So the other the other thing in this app that you can do is roll oh, over the new point. year good point. that you couldn't do in the old app. So um, you get a new year, you get a year rollover, which, which works over the, the end of the year that you could not do in the old app, which makes it, Nice for some customers that want to leave Christmas on a couple Through days. Through New Year's, January. yeah, sure, absolutely. Okay, so we've got that set up right here. Hit the back. Now, you can. we'll get into more detail in another video too, but just to show you real quick where the all week option is, you can select that, and maybe you only want this Christmas scene to come on during the weekends. Yeah. You, you know, you have that option to uncheck the other days and just leave Saturday and Sunday. There you go. Okay, but we're going to do select all. All right, we hit save. Now, there we go. Now we've added this to the list as well. So, should we split this one out? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Let me show you something that's coming. Uh oh. Make me a user of this. All right. So, Rob made me a user. I just turned the lights off. And what you'll see, so Rob doesn't have the, the, the latest uh, test app, hmm. but what you'll see is now I turn the lights off 
And because I changed the lights while I had events scheduled for today, it's gonna ask me, hey, looks like you are changing the lights. Would you like to cancel the scheduled oh, event for this evening? Yeah. And so that way, if I turn the lights off now, it's, it, maybe I don't want the event to run tonight because I actually changed it to something mm -hmm. else. So that would happen if I turned them on blue or anything else. So it's gonna prompt me and say, hey, we know she changed the lights. You have an event coming up. Yep. Are you, do you want to just cancel that event? Sure. And if you hit yes, then that event won't run there tonight. There you go. So maybe now it will run tomorrow because unless you change the right. lights manually again. So very handy feature. Yep. Maybe that application is you're you're having a party. You don't want your standard event to operate. You know, so you're getting set up before everybody comes over, and then you don't want the lights after you've done all that work to mac automatically go back to the event. Correct. So. Now I just turned all the lights on. You'll notice it'll only ask me that one time. Yeah. So it's not going to ask you after you press every button, yep. just one time for every day, it's gonna ask you, hey, if you change the lights, are you sure you're gonna wanna run your events later? There you go, yep. It's a handy feature. It is, very nice. So yeah, we have our prioritized events uh, with our basic on and off and our scene, so very easy. We keep making it easier. That's right, thanks for watching. Hey, let's go back to the other studio. Yeah, uh, let's don't, I'm gonna stay here. Uh, the next video is in the old studio. Is it? <laughs> All right, let's do that.